Hi guys, let's go to the second part of TA30 Access Multi View Calculator how to use in statistics and probability. Again, it's just a touch base. I mean, you it depends on your professor and which class you are taking. Based on that, you need may be different. So, you know, just basic thing I'm going to touch over here. So, look at that in the screen. We have some stuff there already. So, I'm going to do all of reset second zero number two and it's cleared already memory is cleared now how to find mean median minimum maximum sum of x sum of x square sample standard deviation and population standard deviation for any given set of data so this is what we have to do first we're going to first phrase data so we're going to phrase this data okay and we're going to type this we're going to see l1 and l2 as you see l1 and l2 so this is where our variable is going to go inside our x data value if you have one set of data is going to go here if it's two set of data is going to go under l2 so we have to tell where the variable has to be located now we're going to type each number so you know once we type each number you clearly see that we can actually press second data enter 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 and it's going to give us the answer now here you go so let's have an example so we have this one this ex exercise here so i'm going to actually put these numbers here so i'm working on actually this one here as you clearly see i am going to work out this problem here this is the problem i'm working out right now so make sure it makes sense up with this calculator so first thing i clear the calculator so i'm going to phrase data which i did already look the first one says phrase data so phrase data oh sorry so clear everything press data if you press it double it's going to give you something else so first one time data you will see the window like that right then we're going to get this number so we're going to press two then enter we are not going to do two four five six seven eight at the same time no it's not going to work you have to do type individually each score so two enter then four enter then five enter then six enter then seven enter then eight enter your data set can be any different kind of data set okay so well how do you do that well if you enter it it's not going to give you anything so we have to do the second step we got to go second then we press data but what do we do we press enter which is going to give you what data you are pulling out so it's under l1 you put all those data so you enter now you're gonna one variable so then you go to the next calculate again you have to do one more as that's why I said enter 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 so you enter now you have everything ready so we're gonna check out whether we have everything ready here okay is it matching so first of all mean how do we read mean so this x bar is the same as mean or average which is 5.33 that's why I said approximate so make sure you understand make sure you understand what is approximate mean approximate is not exact okay so 5.33 now median well in order to take the median we have to scroll down like this arrow it down so look at here that's the median 5.5 you clearly see that's a 5.5 as you see right now minimum well you clearly see you're going to go up so that's a minimum I'm sorry, I passed through a little bit. Minimum is two, and I scroll down, which is maximum is eight. As you see, it matches, right? It's eight, okay? And this is what checked out. We already checked out, right? Okay, good. And sum of x, depending on your professor, you may have to show your work manually. So you have to actually find sum of x look at this where is the sum of x here you go that's the sum of x so number five in this calculator gives you sum of x which is 32 that checked out too and sum of x squared which is 94 that checked out too very nice you see this lovely how beautiful this calculator is okay now sample standard deviation well it's up here it's a number three on this calculator as you see number three which is s sub x sample standard deviation so 2.16 so that's approximate so 2.16 very nice then population standard deviation as you see number four is a sigma sub x which is a population standard deviation i hope you're going to learn in your class what is all this notation and symbol 
so that is I rounded up actually here 1.97 that's another lovely one here right guys so I'm gonna full up a little bit here okay and pull down here okay so number three you have in the statistics class right you have something to plug it in and so on right and sometimes you get a little confused how which button to use so again I always go tear everything down so I'm gonna do the first one so you know many time in the statistics class first question you have find the z-score okay so z, that's a z-score so it's if it is given as you see if it is given right if this is given how do you find that so let's figure it out we do n over d then we do x is 50 minus 40 over 8 enter now remember if you have fraction right you should press this double arrow double arrow like this one okay double arrow well that's the double arrow okay so you know it's 1.25 very nice okay now let's do the standard deviation where is the standard deviation well we already figured it out, out that out earlier now we are going to type in well if you want to show your work right so i'm going to clear second x square is going to give you square root now formula like that most probably your professor will ask you to do evaluate so you press n over d inside again i'm going to show you this again second x square then you press n over d okay then you type in assume you have 23.33 23.33 and you go down here n is 6 assume you know n was given 6 minus 1 enter you see 2.16 you see it's exactly checked out very nicely you see 2.16 very nice now the next thing maybe your professor will ask you to find the test statistics so how do you do that it's almost similar stuff okay so second zero number two so we're going to do the same thing it's almost similar stuff so you do assume is given as a mean is sample mean is given a 5.33 minus population mean must be given in the problem or you have to find that out over a standard error of, of the mean you have to figure that out also your professor will clarify more on it okay in the class so which assume to be 0.88 enter so clearly see negative 1.89 and I'll, i round it off to negative 1.90 so negative 1.90 checked out very nice it's beautiful as you see right now this one is also same way as the last one okay this is almost same thing okay very nice very nice okay now test is test for two sample okay this one is a lot of work actually to do as you see well again i'm just touching the base how to type in in the calculator you have a whole class or maybe two three class to go over this and your professor will do that with you okay so let's have something like this if you have a two sample and this statistics is given right this statistics is given for example these are given well of course there is a way to find those up now you need to find the first one which is this one okay first one full variance well I'm gonna type this in actually here it's a very simple also okay full variance so SS1 is given that's the SS1 okay guys that's the SS1 is given and that's the SS2 is given so SS1 is 200 plus 210 is SS2 and you go down and degree of freedom is given as 13 again your professor will clarify what is degree of freedom okay enter and of course you see this fraction so double arrow it 31.54 beautiful isn't it guys that checked out also very nice now the next thing estimated standard error of the mean so I'm gonna actually clear everything as it is earlier so I don't have any mess so I'm going to do second square root look at that you have to be very careful many students miss, miss this one make a mistake on this one so make sure you make don't make mistake so you press n over d as you go you can type in or you want to have a structure let's do that actually right now go to the right and plus and again or actually yeah down here 
you press n over d you see you have the structure like that you see that's the structure so you just type in or you can do actually like this i can delete it delete it one at a time you see i delete everything so second x square this one right so i'm going to do 31.54 31.54 over n1 is given in this problem which is 8 again this is where is the n1 n1 is up here and that's the n2 we are going to use those actually okay so we go to the right now and what is the again we're going to use the plus button here because the formula, formula says plus so i can put down 31.54 n over d over in this case 7 so we do 7 enter look it's beautiful everything given here you see you have that actually here that's done okay that's lovely now you want to find the test statistics so how are you going to find the test statistics well you're going to go the same way all right you press the n over d so m1 assume is given which is 40 minus 38 over the standard error estimated standard error of the mean you found earlier which is 2.1 oh, yeah and now some of you say what happened to the up there right let me actually show you yeah up here to the right what happened to the right here assume this is going to be zero well population mean you have to assume is zero so then enter so you have zero point of course i round it up this is every time you round up you should have approximation so that's that's basically 0 0.69 fantastic okay now if you are taking probability class right i mean you have a probability part right let's actually quickly show you this one how to use the probability in this calculator okay so again i'm just erasing everything down here so factorial five we must press five first here then go to probability this is the probability button and number three is the factorial you can go down or just press number three it's up to you you see five factorial which is 120 that is checked out too that's lovely right that's checked out too excellent then now we're going to do permutation remember permutation and combination your professor will tell you what what the, what is the difference between them right so permutation order matters combination order doesn't matter okay so permutation how do you do that again you type this number six and go to the probability and in this case is number one enter oh sorry syntax error let me see actually what is the syntax error i have oh you see that guys because i didn't type four that's why syntax error come in so i have to type four enter now beautiful 360 excellent that's done now next one is going to be combination so i'm going to do six probability and in this case combination order doesn't matter you can do any way so you just have to press 2 enter and again i don't want to make the same mistake earlier i didn't type in the next number this time i have to type in so well if you don't type in it's going to give you syntax error so enter which is 15 very lovely as you see it's very beautiful right so that's checked out also nice so again this is just a task base how to use this calculator for your statistics class and based on your class need maybe you need to go over more operation in the calculator exclusively but if you have this basic knowledge you can survive in any statistics class i can tell you even though some statistics class require you to have higher functional calculator like for example ta83 ta84 something like that right yeah there are some function for for example re regression linear linear correlation and so on yeah we cannot do it in this calculator okay so i hope you guys like it and uh, uh, if you learned something i'll be more than happy and hopefully i'll come up with another video with another topic and i hope you enjoyed it and stay safe. Thank you.